Sean, so your first season, in inverted commas, season um, as CEO of Leicestershire County Cricket Club has come to an end now. How, how do you think things panned out on the field? Yeah, um, been an amazing season. Incredibly intense. Uh, an awful lot of work uh, has been put in throughout the whole of the club, from people behind the scenes, uh, the coaches, the players, everybody. So it's been... Uh, uh, an amazing season, really, and one I think you'd put down. I guess the school school report would say um, good progress and uh, lots more to come. So for me, I think through the whole of the season, you would say there's some real green shoots that we've seen from our young kids here at, uh, at Grace Road. So yeah, excited about it. I think uh, it's been it's been good. Yeah, to build on what you just said, obviously the the twenty twenty season got got underway in explosive fashion with the victory against Lancashire, um, followed up by the impressive blast season that we had. Um, it certainly seems that strides have been taken in the right direction, um, with a lot of hope and a lot of positivity going into twenty twenty one. Yeah, do you know from the the very first ball against uh, against Lancashire in the uh, Bob Willis Trophy, and to get that 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 victory on the the first game, I think that. Um, that kind of set the tone really for for our season. So, so through the Bob Willis Trophy, we saw uh, players contributing different different ways. Really, you know, from the bat and the bowl fielding as well. Uh, we learnt a lot. There were some great performances in there, and I think um, for fifteen minutes against um, Durham here at uh, the Fisher County Ground, then we would have won that game. I think. Uh, so, so yeah, you look at the Bob Willis Trophy and, and our Red Ball game and actually sort of say, yeah, good progress. I think some of the um, young lads that came through that, that batted well were, were exceptional. And we had some players that came in. There's been a, a number of staff that have changed through the season as well, not just the, the Bob Willis, but the Blast as well. And I think if we go on to the Blast, then the very last ball, you know, uh, against... Uh, Nottinghamshire, you know, we were uh, unfortunate, I think, not to not to get to the final, but um, we learned from that. And I think, as I've as I've sort of said, we we win together, we lose together. And uh, for me, you look over some of the performances made by the players that have come in, have contributed. You know, Ben Slater early on, uh, and Gareth Delaney late on. So um, and everybody in between. I think has been fantastic for us. And what's, what's, for me, I think has been really encouraging is the emergence of our young squad. To be the youngest squad in the T20, I think was an amazing achievement. And, and, you know, and to lose out to the eventual winners um, is, is, is something for us to be really proud of. And I think equally, I think in this season, we fielded the youngest side in the history of Leicestershire in the Bob Willis Trophy. So, uh, that, that, for me, they were excellent. They, they all stood up, they all took their opportunity and I think they've all demonstrated that the year coming is gonna be tremendous. It's gonna be very exciting and um, one that we're really looking forward to. <laughs> you made a few good points there, obviously, about the average age of the squad and a few names you chucked in there was, was Ben Slater and Gareth Delaney. <laughs> We obviously had the likes of Rishi, pa- Rishi Patel join us on loan from Essex as well. So um, bringing down the average age of the squad quite, quite a lot there, what was the thought process behind that? Yeah, I think, I think for, um, for Leicestershire, it is a new era. It's a new identity that we're creating um, and one that we want to be proud of. And I think we've, some of the measures we've, we've, we've taken are, are bringing the academy closer to the first team. Um, looking at the players that we've got, trying to create a squad of young, dynamic, uh, who've got real desire to achieve, players that, that want to achieve. And that's, that's, that's kind of our DNA here at, at Leicestershire. You know, we, we, we've always had players that have come through, that have gone on to bigger and better things. I think you look at David Gower, Stuart Broad, you know, all these kind of... Phil De Freitas, you know, all these kind of players <coughs> excuse me, that have, that have come through. I think um, that is what we're about. That's what Leicestershire is. So this year, it was almost going back to our roots, going back to what we are good at. And I think 
the players like um, Swindles, Lewis Hill, Harry Deard, and you know Hassan Azad, Ben Mike, Will Davis, Gav Griffiths, Callum Parkinson, all of them. You know the the names just roll off, and that they've they've contributed, and um, you know Evans, Bates, the, all of them. They've all sort of chipped in their little thing. And apologies if I've missed any of the players out there, but. Um, you know, for me, that is what Leicestershire is all about. This academy of cricket that we talk about, the running foxes. So um, I think you look at that and that squad, very, very exciting. And Nick Welsh, you know, I'm, I missed out Nick. You know, Nick who came in late on at the T20s, did a tremendous job, a fantastic job and a couple of great innings out there. And I suppose the sign of Scott Steele a couple of days ago is just going to be an extension of what you were just saying there. Yeah, delighted to have brought Scott to uh, Leicestershire County Cricket Club. I think a, a lad that has an immense talent. Um, we saw that, we've seen it ourselves for Leicestershire. You know, I know Durham were keen to keep him, but we wanted him. He was one of our, our targets that, that we're, we're proud to get. And I think, again, it epitomises what Leicestershire is about now. We're, we're young, we're hungry. We want to get out there. We want to prove to the cricket world that Leicestershire is, is an emerging cricket uh, cricket club that has got something to prove. So for me, these this, this year has been, yes, it's been intense and Paul Nixon uh, and all the coaching staff have been brilliant. It's all about how we build from here now. And in the past couple of days as well, obviously with, with incomings means outgoings, obviously about to say goodbye to, to Paul Horton who's retired and, and Mark Cosgrove who's, who's ended his uh, contract here at the Fisher County Ground. Um, obviously those two leave a massive gap on the pitch and off the pitch as well. Um, but that just shows how much um, trust is put in the squad that do have that, that we do have. Sorry, uh, and for someone to to stand up and step into to those those big shoes. Yeah, COVID has 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 been uh, has taken its toll for for uh, people like Paul and Mark Cosgrove, and uh, because of that situation, we had to start to emerge our younger talent, but. Um, Put that to one side, you know, I've got to pay tribute to both Paul and, and Mark who have stepped aside and, uh, you know, the, the, the news that Paul has retired, it's sad news, but he's been an excellent servant for Leicestershire, they both have, Paul and Mark, and I think uh, we we wish them well in their, their, their next chapters, if you like. They're, they've done brilliantly for the club over the years. It's a shame that they couldn't play because of the COVID situation. But uh, for us, yeah, I think it's it's sad to see one chapter closing. But um, with that comes the opportunity for the for the new recruits, the young guns, if you like, to, to take take the shirt and then play for Leicestershire. But I think it's it's only right that we pay tribute to, to Mark and uh, and Paul on, on, on being great servants for Leicestershire. But we, of course, wish them well. And of course, with as of the end of the season, we're now we've, we've obviously lost two players, we've gained one player, so there's room for for more to come in, possibly. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I can't I can't comment just yet. There's still a bit of work to be done, but um, you know, Paul Nixon, myself, Matthew Boyce, uh, and the cricket pillar that we have here at the club are all now working very hard to create a team that we think will be uh, exciting and uh, probably challenging. Uh, for next year so so yeah we've got a bit of work to do over the winter period but um, we're, we're excited about it we we, we, uh, we think that we are creating something quite special here at Leicestershire and I think uh, we are certainly one of the clubs to watch we've got a lot of work to do a lot of work to do not just on the field but off it as well um, and, and I guess that 21 season starts now and finally how good would it be to be able to welcome the fans back into the ground as well for 2021 yeah, that's been the big thing. I mean, here at the ground, it's 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 been quiet. Uh, obviously, beating teams here, beating Notts here, beating Yorkshire here was fantastic. We would have had full crowds that night. Would have enjoyed some of the displays. You know, Colin Ackerman putting the ball over this building, and you know, Gareth Delaney putting it over there, and Nick Welsh hitting fours left, right, and centre. It would have been fantastic to have them here. Hopefully, they've they've watched it on the streams. Um, but fingers crossed we can get through this difficult period and we can welcome fans back in, in 2021. And I'd urge, I know we have memberships uh, going to be launched in the next few weeks or a couple of months. 
So we, I would urge our, our supporters to, to really get behind the club because without them, we're nothing. And it's been so difficult this year. We know they've been there. We know they've been wash, watching us on, on, uh, on the streams, but we need them. We need our members. We need our sponsors. Uh, without them, uh, Leicestershire is a very lonely place. So together, we, uh, we can make it a very strong club and one that we can really progress with.